Welcome back, community, to Community Standard Initiative. I'm the host, Al Flowers. And uh, soon uh, our host will be Clarence Hightower. He's the, and I'll co-host with him. But uh, right now I'm hosting. This is the first show. And, uh, and now I'm, I sit here with uh, uh, the park and rec, uh, Nick Williams, who's over uh, most of the recre all the recreation uh, of the park. But he's also uh, been a, a key part of making this camp uh, over here happen, Camp for Champs. And, uh, and I'm glad he's here. But first, uh, Nick, uh, just tell the uh, community a little bit about what you, what you are doing and, and uh, uh, where you came from and what, what you're doing here. Hey, I'm Nicholas Williams. I recently moved here from... Uh, I'll hold it, you're holding so from you, Yeah, because you, you're right. the big man. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead, Nick. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Recreation for the Parks Board. Uh, just happy to be here, happy to be a part of the community, working with Al and, and other people that are that are championing the community and trying to help these kids. So Park and Rec is committed to doing that, and we'll do whatever we can. And, and uh, Nick, when, when we talk about uh, CSI, the initiative is about respect and responsibility and, and uh, getting it back, getting back to good. And our community has uh, struggled in, uh, you know, this, we're in an urban area. Right. And uh, to come here and take the challenge, because you uh, came from Atlanta, yep. and to come here and to a challenge where uh, a community that's not really together, mm -hmm. but we're trying to come together. So how do you how do you adjust to coming from Atlanta and, and coming here to uh, try to a whole different environment? Well, actually, Al, you know, urban communities are suffering all over the world. And so um, similar, similar uh, situations and issues that are here, we find those in Atlanta and California and, and other major cities. Um, what we do is just, we just try to bring the community together and try to bring our resources together um, so that we can help these kids um, one by one and in, uh, individually by individually. And, and, and once we touch one, we touch two, we touch three, we touch four. And you know, as long as we stay at it, we can get the community back together. And, and, and uh, Nick, but one of the biggest problems of uh, uh, our kids is access to things. And what you're trying to do now is uh, some, they, you got a lot of stuff at the park and rec right. that we, that in our community, right. we live right around it, but right. we don't know how do you uh, uh, do that, be, uh, you know, we trying to do right. it. Right, well, one of our biggest challenges is just, just getting out in the community and letting them know what, what we have to offer. And so we're doing that now through different community engagement projects, working with a, a Quirky Wiseman also from the park board, a really good friend of mine. Um, just community initiatives and getting out in the community and say, hey, what is it that, that the park board can do for you, um, through either through programs or access, being able to come into the centers and, and things like that. And so it's, it's going to be a partnership of, of people like you, Al, and, and, uh, and just getting out in the community and, and seeing what we can do to help the, help the neighborhoods. And, and how, how have it been so far? You just uh, got uh, here. You've been here a few months now mm -hmm. and getting your feet on the ground and putting your staff in place. Right. But uh, so far, uh, uh, how's it been? I think things are going great. Um, Obviously, we have struggles and challenges, but we're going to stay at it. We're committed to it. This is not a, uh, you know, in and out the next day. We're here. We're committed to what's happening, and we'll be here till we make a difference. And, and you just spoke to the kids. Uh, Nick, what do what, you say to the kids right now? Get good grades, mm -hmm. plan to go to college, and plan to uh, think of what you want to do for, for, for a career. And, and, and don't make basketball your only option. Right. And, and that's what we have to do in our community. When we, uh, uh, and and I, I try to say to the kids, the older kids, you got to uh, tell them, teach the younger right. ones, right. and and we got to get that kind of message out. Exactly, it's it's just about um, you know each one of us touching one. If I touch you, you touch another. You know, eventually the community's back in touch with each other, and so you got a great group out here. I'm we happy to be a part of it, and um, we'll we'll continue to partner for the, for the greater good of this community and for the greater good of the kids all over Minneapolis. And and uh, the 